Yuhyun with short hair. That's it. That's the statement. <laughs> I am attacked. I need something to hold on to. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm just, I'm leaving this K-pop life. Hey everyone. So today we're here doing an entire Dreamcatcher album. Um, it's called Versus Villain. So I guess Apocalypse series is over. I guess this is, this is after that. Um, so this is my first album, I believe after that uh, like that isn't part of the apocalypse series i think every single album i've picked uh i've reacted to thus far was in the apocalypse series so i'm in interested in how the sound is going to change for this album however we do still have the same production team which is basically the same <laughs> production team as 80s have which I, I still find very funny how one of my favorite girl groups and one of my old boy groups have the same <laughs> production team i am a formulaic person but yeah um um we've got five songs i believe one of them is an intro and then we've got four proper songs so let's just hop right on in with intro this is my fashion i'm a little bit scared of what this album is gonna sound like like what if i hit it okay i like that styling this before Ooh. Ooh, sounds very glitchy. Like things are going wrong. Ooh, dark. I forgot to get myself a drink, girl. Ooh. Ooh, I like this instrumental though. Oh, I no, I re I I realized the major difference between Dreamcatcher credits. I got the track list open here. Dreamcatcher credits and these credits Eden isn't on any of these tracks so this is the basically the same protection to, uh, uh, team but no Eden and Maddox is only on the title track interesting interesting um I really like that intro I hope that's kind of setting the tone for the album because I really like that mood I I would be very down for that so yeah I'm excited Next up, we've got their title track, OOTD. Outfit of the day, I'm guessing. It is called, you know, they said, this my fashion in the first song, so you know. Let's, let's go. A little bit scared, let's go. It seems like a very different vibe from what I'm used to. Ooh. Dreamcatcher. Mate, mm. didn't catch a. Is it music video? Yeah, music video. Okay. It's more electronic rock from what I'd be used to for them, which isn't a bad thing necessarily though, because I like me some electronic sounding rock. So I'm intrigued. I love, I love Shion Starlin. Oh, oh my gosh, you sound amazing. Damn, she's on. She looks gorgeous. I love their styling. 
Damn, girl. I, what even are these uh, lyrics? I did not pay attention. I feel like this is gonna be a pretty big change up sound wise. Oh, I love this part. Damn, she's so hot. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sua is so hot. Like, she is such an attractive woman, isn't she? Like, she's just, oh, damn, I'm so attracted to her. <laughs> sorry, I just really am. I'm very weak for her visually. She's so pretty. Oh, I love this line. Gayon! Gorgeous! Damn. You hear with short hair. That's it. That's the statement. She's so freaking pretty. Yeah, this is different. This is a lot more what I would call the general fourth gen girl group sound, but like infused with a bit of rockiness. I, I'm not sure if I like it yet because I like that Dreamcatcher sound different, right? Usually. So I'm not sure how I feel about this yet, but I, I'll hold judgment. Oh, I love these outfits though. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, sorry. I love that move. Oh, I think I, th I really want to watch a performance video of this because I think I really like this choreo. Damn, these looks are so cool. Damn. God, Yuhyun is a, a gorgeous woman, isn't she? Oh, get it, dummy! Oh, she sounds so good. Yes, you are. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. If any of y'all do, don't like this song, because it doesn't sound very Dreamcatcher in terms of title tracks, I get that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit obsessed. I really like it. Damn, dummy. Damn, gang girl. These blue hair. Blue hair is everything. If so, blue hair. People should have blue hair more often. Blue hair. She looks amazing. You are a goddess. God damn it. Damn, look at her. This, that shot. Oh. By the way, I feel like I haven't talked about Handong. She also looks gorgeous. She's got her lip ring. I have a really big weakness for lip rings. Why did they do that? Of all of them, why my bias? Damn! Girl, step on me, please! They put my bias and my rancor together! What is the reason? Oh, she on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm fine. Okay. I love that part. I love how it's like very quietly dark and seductive. I love it. Look at my 
Not gonna lie though, lyrics are a little bit insensical. I mean, like, I get it, we're flexing, but also the ways we're flexing aren't really related lyrics wise in the chorus, but it's fine. Who cares? <laughs> yes, you are. Damn, you young. I'm sorry, y'all. This is Yujun's era for me. Damn. Yes, you are. Damn. Yes, you are. Yeah, I, I died too. I'm with you, my guy. Dude. Girl. Whatever. I'm with you. Over 90 people join us. We have to hurry. There's not much left now. Is that storyline stuff? Would you like to join the journey? Okay. Is it going to be a more like... Okay, just based on the sound of the song. And then like... Because they do like doing storylines that are like somewhat self-contained within an era, right? At least that's how I understand their storylines. I might be completely wrong in which case. Whoops, sorry. Um, but... If they're going, like, from what, I, what also with the name versus villain, I kind of feel like, is this going to be more of an electronic era? Like, does this song sound this way because the storyline we're going for is also more motivated by computer and stuff, especially with the MV we got? Is that what's happening? In which case, I think that's brilliant, tying it all together that way, including the sound. Um... I really like the sound of the song, but I would also understand why, like, if you're like a hardcore insomnia and you like Dreamcatcher for what they usually do, I could see how this might not be your thing. I like it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very, I'm very into it and they look amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Next up, we've got Rising. Let's go. Okay. Get it, girl. <laughs> okay. That's This is more like the like the like the sound I would have expected from them for a hot title track at least because <laughs> I know their B-sides are all over the place. Really like this instrumental. Freaky stuff that was happening there for a second. Damn, Dami. Love, I love Gaion's tonal voice so much. Ugh. Oh, I like this. The thing for me with really intense Rocky songs is I sometimes easily get overwhelmed by the instrumental. Because in a real rock song, there's a lot of stuff going on in an instrumental. It has to. It's rock. That's that's how it like like it's especially like you know your metal 
way of <laughs> type of music. It, it has to be heavy and there has to be a lot going on. And I don't dislike that, but I have to be very awake and present in order for me to be able to like digest it. This instrumental has a lot going on in the rock way, but even though I'm a like, I wouldn't say I'm operating at 100% capacity right now, I'm not gonna lie to you, still think, still doesn't overwhelm me. Because it's still very melodic. There's not like random stuff going on, I just really like it. <laughs> Listen, I'm not an expert in music, I just like this. <laughs> Damn, swap. I also really like the lyrics. Like, I like this message of resistance. I guess. Damn, that was damn, Shion. Damn. I like this. I like it less than I like OOTD. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta gotta keep my right uh, my rising. I was gonna say ranking, but then I read rising because I just wrote it. Gotta keep my ranking up. Um next up, I actually messed up here. The next song is Shatter, I believe. And this one has a dance video. I could have gone for checking the lyrics out first. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I, I, I've already noticed <laughs> across the two songs I've checked out that today is not a song where I'm good at digesting lyrics and music at the same time. So since I'm already going to have a dance and a song, I hope you forgive me if to, I, I don't check out the lyrics for this one and I just kind of let the music take me where it will and maybe I can digest what it's about just from the sound. How about we play that game? <laughs> Let's go with Shatter. Oh my gosh, the styling. Why are they so beautiful? I love them. Oh she looks like Mother Teresa, the Virgin Mary. She's beautiful. Okay, first of all, I really do want to give a shout out to the stylists because they all have such interesting, cool looks and they're, they're also different and they work together. I actually want them to give lessons to multiple uh, group stylists uh, starting with <laughs> but no this is beautiful and it works really well together and i love it damn guy on wow this is oh my gosh i think this is gonna be my favorite <gasps> you yawn Okay. Damn. Ooh. I love how she has fully got a cross on her stuff. Like, are you are you like a dark priest? I don't know. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. God, I love this. I 
love this. Oh, I love this. I love, I, I really love dark, intense electro sound Dreamcatcher. I didn't, that was not something I had on my bingo card for what was coming up next for Dreamcatcher, but I fucking love it. Oh my gosh. Can I try places with either of you? Man, the way Hanong did that move there, look at her, like this one, beautiful. I like this choreo. This feels like it, I don't know why, but it feels like... It feels seductive, but not in a like healthy way. It feels like this feels to me very toxic, dark, but sexy. So I don't know what it's about, but maybe it's in the along those veins, and I'll take it. Oh, damn, Gaion! Damn, girl. If I hadn't been gay before this, this would do it. Like, I'm just, I'm just saying. Well, I'm not technically, you know, bio, but whatever. Man, I love women. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really do. Look at them. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Damn, Tommy. I love that. That's my favorite. That's my favorite thus far. Did the visuals help? Yes, I'm not going to lie to you. The visuals did help. Like, damn, those are those are some visuals. Oh, that sounds, oh, you know, like, I just like feeling like somebody's seducing me, but maybe they don't have the best intentions, intentions for me. And I think that's okay. If that's what I want to be into, then I get to be into that. And that's what I'm into. <laughs> it seems. I really like this. I really like Shatter. I really like it. I really like it. Okay, well, <clears throat> I really like it. Um, finally, we have We Are Young of this particular album. Um, sorry, I just looked at the producer credits. It's just really All Under and Door, which I think have been on every single song. So uh, let's go. Sun cry, tomorrow will be bright because we are young, young. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, you can't. Mm. I love this song from her. Oh, Gio, Gio, Gio has such a gorgeous voice, doesn't she? this tone on Tommy. Uh, 
this instrumental gives Euro pop. This instrumental gives Eurovision, and I'm here for it. <laughs> I mean, I am European after all. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is so Euro Europe coded. Oh, this is such a club banger. Oh, imagine this in the club. How fun. I like this song a lot. These girls are waking me up right now. Because we are young, young, young. I should not be singing. My voice has been fucked for weeks. Because we are young, young, young. Do you stop? It's see, it's it's the kind of song that just makes you sing along if you want to or not. <laughs> it's so fun. I like it. I love the, I love that chanting in the background. Or is it chanting the chorus, the choir? Get it, girl! I really like that song. That's very. To be fair, it's very. As I said, it's very European coded. So um. I'm not surprised I like it. <laughs> it could have been foreseen, <laughs> but I I do. It's not my favorite song though, that's Shatter. Um, so my ranking after first listen is gonna be Shatter, then We Are Young, then OOTD, then Rising, and then the intro, because it's not really a full song. Um, I am very intrigued with this new Dreamcatcher sound. Because obviously they've always been very versatile, but not having the title track being more like traditional, like heavy metal-y is very new in from my experience with them. Obviously I haven't listened to all their title tracks yet. I've just started that journey, but I'm very interested in where this is going to go. Yeah, that's it. I'm very interested in how this is going to shake out. <clears throat> And I'm, I'm, I'm along for the ride for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm happy, like, I'm looking forward to, for, to it. I'm not just interested. I'm looking forward to it. Let me know how you feel about this. Let me know what your album ranking is. Um, let me know how you feel about this after apocalypse era. Let me know. Just, just talk to me. But yeah, that's it for me for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I have a couple dream catcher things over on Patreon, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what else to do over there for page uh, for dream catcher. So if y'all have like variety suggestions, please let them have, uh, let me have them. I did dream catcher mind and some weekly idol. Um, but I, I would always love to do more. So please let me have your suggestions. 
it's 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 hard sometimes <laughs> figuring out what people want to see because i can look up what they've done but i don't know which one of those things y'all would want to see but yeah that's it for me for today thank y'all so much for watching like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see y'all in the next one bye